Okay, let's start with the kit unboxing. One thing I need to mention before everything else is I made a mistake of not doing everything with max fan speed. It all runs on auto fan mode, so please forgive me for being a noob. Also, I don't do voiceover on my video before, so I apologize for any other mistakes beforehand. I wasn't too happy with my laptop's cooling, so I ordered this set of stuff from Chinese online store called Taobao. First up, we have two 18cm pre-bent by order copper pipes, which they can do for you given dimensions. Then we have two 8cm copper pipes as pair. Two sets of copper fin with a total of 16 pieces. Okay, this packaging is a bit too much. So for this thermal grooves, not paste, to stick the pipes and the seller gave me an extra one. Cool! Here's a full picture of the stuff I've ordered. Let's fast forward the disassembly part. Here's our laptop's original heatsink before the mod. Note that there are some cardboard box tapes on the fan because during my previous fan cleaning, I can't put the original tapes back. So improvise, I guess. Time to put it back together and measure if the pipes and fins fit into the case. Now to figure out where to put the rest of the heat sinks.
the space to work with the processor is too narrow funny how the plate on GPU has a lot more space to work on but the CPU plate is so small is a bit off but no worries you can use your hand to bend it a little bit Stickers are in the way. Just remove it. forget to clean the surface before sticking anything onto it. The fins has heat resistant double sided tapes to stick on.
I'm still trying to figure out how to put the heat sinks on the CPU's plate. get binder clips to hold them in place Here's a result of the mod. And I added two more heat sinks with little grip on the CPU plate. I don't know if it would work or not. And let it dry for about an hour and put everything back together. Now off to the test. First up, we have idle temperature. On the left, we have figures from before the mod and the right is after. Right off the bat, we can see the max temperature while idling for 10 minutes after turning on my laptop. The max temp has dropped about 9 Celsius on the package core and the average is hovering about 54 from 64 Celsius. And except from core 1, the rest doesn't seem to differ much. Also, the NVIDIA GPU temperature has dropped about 6 Celsius. Hmm. This looks promising. From my desire, a heart of gold forge to inspire a star fire. Star Next, we have 30 minutes run on Fermark. CPU side of things, it doesn't drop much with a max temperature drop of about 6 Celsius on Core 2 and average only a 5 Celsius drop on package with average temperature hovering at 80 Celsius and Intel's GPU temperature drop about 4 hovering at around 72 to 76 but on NVIDIA GPU side, now here we can see the magics happening. With max temperature drop about 10 Celsius. Freaking 10 Celsius on air cooling. And the average also hovering around 72 to 75 Celsius. Could the extra fins that I put on the bigger plate make the difference? Let's continue with more tests. Then we have an hour of actual game tests with Overwatch. Uh, stupid me accidentally cropped up my before and after chart for Afterburner. And due to all the mod is done, I can only provide the after chart from another run for this test. On CPU side of things, max temp remains mostly the same with previous tests. 
with a 4 to 5 Celsius temperature drop and average temperature hovering at about 84 Celsius. And just like the previous test, GPO max temperature dropped to about 77 Celsius max and mostly hovering at around 70 plus Celsius. I'd say that is quite an improvement. And now the final test with one hour of Fortnite gameplay. I made another very very retarded mistake here of not capturing the proper chart and the GPU results aren't shown on the screenshot but I'm gonna keep it anyways. Without a proper comparison chart I can't tell you how well the GPU temperature performed but the CPU side is more or less the same with average hovering at about 85 celsius at gpu mostly hovering at 80 celsius with a max of 81 Did I do anything wrong? Not too sure. I'm not used to this, this kind of videos anyways. If you do this mod yourself, do let me know if this improves your system temperature. Results could be different. I don't know. Let me know. I am not too thorough with this video. I need more practice on making video like this one. Hopefully I get another chance to do another one like this and I can improve. <sighs> and a lack of videos like this because of budgets of course and I have a regular day job time is a limiting factor too i love tech stuff i will do this again that's all for now and if you like this video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe or even watch me on stream one hour of noob overwatch gameplays every day bye bye Things for you.